Sita got some addition problems as homework from her teacher. Now Rhea was a very good girl and she always believed in doing her homework on time. So she started with it. This was the first problem that she got. Now Rhea knew the finger marks method for addition and she used the finger marks method for adding 10 and 5. Let's see how she did it. So first we need to count the finger marks for 10. So let's do that. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And now we need to count the finger marks for 5. So 5 more. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 5 more finger marks till here. So let's see how many finger marks do we have in total. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. This is where we have reached finger mark number 15. Right? So the answer to this addition is 15. And Rhea was very happy that she could solve it so easily. Now this was the next problem which the teacher had given. 13 plus 11. And once again, Rhea started counting using her finger marks. So first, she will count finger marks till 13. Let's do that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 and then 11 more. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now what will Rhea do? She needs to count 11 more finger marks. But she has counted only till 7 and there are no more finger marks left. So how will she perform this addition? So Rhea was very sad because she always believed in doing her homework on time. But she could not solve 13 plus 11 using finger marks because she had only 20 finger marks. So how will she do her homework now? So she went to her granny and asked her for help. Now granny was a very smart granny. She said that don't worry Rhea. I'll teach you the secret rule of addition. So let us also learn along with Rhea what is the secret rule of addition. We already know that every number is made of tens and ones. So we can break every two digit number into tens and ones. How can we do that? So 12, if I have a number 12, I can write it as one tens and two ones. Yes? Or we can say that tens and ones are like rooms, you know? So they are the rooms for digits. Just like each of us have our own room, even the digits like to stay in the rooms and they don't like to share their rooms. So each digit likes to stay in a single room. So these tens and ones are like rooms for digits. So over here, in 47, the digit 4 will sit in the tens room and the digit 7 will sit in the ones room. Now can you tell me in 68 in which room will 6 and 8 sit? Well, 6 will sit in the tens room and 8 will sit in the ones room. So in a two digit number the digit coming first sits in the tens room 
and the digit coming last sits in the ones room in 95 where will nine sit since it comes first it will sit in the tens room and five comes at the end so it will sit in the ones room but suddenly why are we talking about this tens and ones room instead of addition i'll show you so the secret rule of addition needs you to place the numbers in the respective tens and ones room so let's do that first so for 13 i want the digits to be placed in their separate rooms so for 13 1 will go to the tens room and 3 will go to the ones room for 11 one will go to the tens room it is this one and the second one will go to the ones room now let us come to the secret rule that rule is add the digits in the ones room so add the digits in the ones room and tens room separately and place them in the rooms below so this is the ones room for answer so i need to add the digits in the ones room which are 3 and 1 so what is 3 plus 1 so 1 2 3 and then we need to put one more so 1 how many fingers do i have 1 2 3 4 so 3 plus 1 gives me 4 and where will i put that four since i am adding the digits in the ones room i will put the sum or the answer in the ones room this is my ones room so i put four here you can also perform this addition using finger marks instead of fingers now i need to add the digits in the tens room so i have 1 plus 1 so 1 and one more this is 2 so 1 plus 1 gives me 2 so now where do i need to put this 2 since i am adding the digits in the tens room i'll put the answer in the tens room so this is my sum this 24 is my sum the answer of 13 plus 11 is 24 and this is the secret rule of addition given by the granny to ria so let's try out this question using the secret rule of addition i have 28 plus 31 so the first thing is to put the digits in their own rooms now in 28 what will go to the tens room 2 so 2 will go to the tens room 8 will go to the ones room and in 31 so the first number is put here and the second number is written here in 31 3 goes to the tens room and 1 goes to the ones room now let me add the digits in the ones room so i have 8 and 1 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and i need to add one to it so i'll open one more finger how many are these let's count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 now i have added the digits in the ones room so i put this answer 9 in the ones room itself now the next thing is to add the digits in the tens room what are they 2 and 3 so 1 2 and then three more 1 2 3 how many fingers do i have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so i put 5 in the tens room of the answer 
So this is the sum. So 28 plus 31 gives me 59 as the sum or the answer. Always, always, always remember that we need to add the digits in the ones room first. We will never add the digits in the tens room first. First, we start with the digits in the ones room. Now, I need to add 45 and 32. So, in 45, 4 will go to the tens room and 5 will go to the ones room. In 32, 3 will go to the tens room and 2 will go to the ones room. So first, which one will I add? Will I add the digits in the tens room or will I add the digit in the ones room? Yes, I'll add the digit in the ones room first. So let's add 5 and 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and then 2 more. 1, 2, so how many fingers do I have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So the sum here is 7. Now I need to add the digits in the tens room. So 4 and 3. 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 fingers are open. I need to open three more fingers, which is one, two, three. How many fingers do I have now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven will go in the tens room of the answer. So 45 plus 32 gives me 77. Now can you try this one on your own? Let's see. I have 83 plus 16. So 83, 8 goes to the tens room. 3 goes to the ones room. For 16, 1 goes to the tens room. 6 goes to the ones room and I need to start with the ones room first. So I have 3 and 6 as the numbers to be added. So let's open the fingers accordingly. So 1, 2, 3 fingers and then 6 more fingers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So how many fingers are open in all? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So there are 9 fingers open. Which means the number 9 will go in the ones room of the answer. Now I need to add 8 and 1. So let's open 8 fingers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 fingers and then one more. So this, how many fingers are open? Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So there are 9 fingers. So 8 plus 1 gives me 9. So 9 will once again go in the tens room. So 99 is the sum or the answer of this addition. Now this was the secret rule for adding when we have big numbers. So we can use our finger marks only for addition till 20 because we have only 20 finger marks. What about numbers greater than that? So we have this rule for addition. So do practice this rule very well. If you like this video, then subscribe to our channel. 
You can also register for free at deltastep.com to get all the learning resources as per CBSC, ICSC, IB, Cambridge or any other curriculum. Over 5,000 amazing lectures on maths, science, English and social science. Our unique interactive video technology keeps you engaged and our iDictionary feature allows you to quickly revise any concept. Master each topic at your own pace with our adaptive practice technology and 1 million plus questions. Get instant answers and detailed solutions. Be exam ready by taking unlimited mock tests, performance analysis along with actionable feedback. Personal tutors to resolve the slightest of your doubts. And that's not all. You can also win exciting prizes like PlayStations, iPads, watches and many more along with certificates through our Earn As You Learn program. So at deltastep.com, learning is not just fun and easy, it is rewarding too. So register for free now.